It's about fasting. He says, my question is about fasting and prayer. Does it really matter when one starts a fast and when he stops? Of course, you've got to stop somewhere and you've got to start somewhere, okay? You decide. You decide where you want to start and when you want to stop. For example, when the Bible says that Moses fasted for 40 days, okay, and 40 nights, the, the, the count had to start from somewhere. And it had to end somewhere. Jesus fasted. And it tells us how he fasted, how many days he fasted. It had to start from somewhere and end somewhere. So there's got to be a start and a stop. And he um, says, also, is it okay for someone whose throat is dry during a fast to drink water in as much as it doesn't contain any meal substance in it? Well, there are different kinds of fasts. Um, uh, there are fasts where you don't want to drink anything. You don't want to eat anything. That's up to you and how the Spirit of God leads you at that particular point in time. The fast where you want to drink water. There are other kinds of fasts. I mean, you can be fasting and you don't want to see anybody. Okay? And you can be fasting and you go to work. For example, Jesus talked about that. He said, um, when you fast, he says, dress up nicely. Don't appear to men to fast. That means you, you are, you're still among people. He says, don't show that you're fasting. That means you came out. That means you went to work. Okay, so that's a kind of fast. You're fasting, but you're going to work. You're doing all, all the nice things you've been doing, and people don't know you're fasting, except those who are fasting with you, if, if it's not uh, personal or private. See, so, um, but there are other kinds, like I said, where you just want to be alone, and um, uh, you're fasting from the TV shows, no TV, no phones, no anything. You know, you're just, you're just with the Lord, you see. Now, these are different kinds of fasts. And um, you are the one to determine what kind of fast you want to have, depending on what you're after. Why are you fasting? So that will determine the gravity of your fast, the seriousness of your fast. Now, that doesn't mean, because of the term I just used, that doesn't mean that some fasts are more serious than the others. No, I said it depends on what you want to do and how your faith really works. Because sometimes you fast in a certain way and your faith is not, it, it, it doesn't get polished. You know, you feel like you got to do more. See? And sometimes you do a little and you think, wow, this is good. I, I, I got what I wanted. So, um, it's really uh, personal. It's really personal. And then, of course, when a group decides to do something together, then you better be a part of it. For example, if in your cell meeting or in your fellowship or in your church, they say, we're going to fast from sunup till sundown. Well, fast exactly as they said. If they say we're going to fast um, from the early hours of the morning until 1 p.m., do it like they said because it's a group. There's an agreement together to do it. See? All right. Now, in such a case, if it's not specific and they say we're going to fast and, and it's not specific and you're saying, uh, can I drink water? Hey, between the early hours of the morning and 4 p.m. in the evening, you wouldn't die if you don't drink water. So if your throat is dry and you take a drink, soon you say your stomach is dry and you want to put some, you know, you're going to do some more. And before long, who knows what you're going to be doing? You destroy the whole fast. So you won't die if, if, you, if you take that little fast. It won't, it, it won't do anything. So a lot of times there are short fasts and... Um, uh, I don't think that should be a problem to you. Somebody said, what about if, you, if you're taking drugs and um, the doctor said, you must take these drugs and, and you're fasting. Well, maybe one of the reasons you have to find yourself taking these drugs is because you didn't fast in the first place. See, maybe if you were fasting the right kind of fast, you would have not been taking these drugs. But then I know that there are sick people who can't even eat. They are fasted. You see, they can't, they can't eat anything. And just because you're not eating doesn't mean you're fasting the kind of fast that we're talking about. Okay? Spiritual fast is more than not eating. It's about meditation, prayer, consecration. All right? That's what it's about. So you don't just stay off the meals. You put your heart on God and on His Word and fellowship with the Spirit of God.